Digital Foundry. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were admitted and apologies were sent out. But to some extreme fanboys, that's not enough. Let's talk about it. What's going on, people? This is King's Blood Gaming, and I am back with another video. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button because I promise anyone with half a brain will love this video. All right. Now, a lot of hypocrisy going on in the community, and I feel like I got to be the guy to address it. As I tell you guys, I'm just a realistic Xbox guy. So as we already know, Digital Foundry fucked up. Digital Foundry is the go-to YouTube channel for resolution and frame rate analysis for video games, and they were analyzing a game called Red Out made by 34 Big Things, and in their words, they missed the dynamic scaler. They told everyone the PS4 Pro version of the game runs better than the Xbox One X version, and the X version is only 1080p, and the frame rate sucked. They weren't lying about the frame rate. In return, 34 Big Things backhanded this shit out of Digital Foundry with the Ether-like tweet, letting the people know that this game hangs between 50 and 90% of native 4K, and they channeled their inner Donald J. Trump calling Digital Foundry fake news. Digital Foundry, ever so professional, apologized, and as I said earlier, they stated they missed the dynamic scaler but stood firm on their stance of the more important factor by saying the game still had frame rate problems on the Xbox One X. I love this little spat. What I didn't love was the reactions from extreme fanboys. I heard a lot of wild stuff over the last few days that literally had me watching some of my favorite content creators videos with the screw face. The same people who ran with the Digital Foundry created Soupy Visuals joke towards the PS4 Pro's graphics had the nerve to call Digital Foundry biased. I guess Digital Foundry is not allowed to make mistakes. Your favorite YouTubers are telling you that Digital Foundry did this on purpose, yet they have done the same things. Search their names with exposed and caught lying in that YouTube search bar. Oh, and no, I'm not telling you your favorite YouTubers are liars, but I'm telling you that content creators make mistakes. I have, and I openly admit it. Guys are crying about the little corny jokes that Richard Ledbetter and that other guy make about the Xbox as if they don't make the same towards the pro. Hashtag soupy visuals. I mean, if Digital Foundry is biased, it's clear they love PC. That's clear as day. They're tech guys. Speaking of PC, one of my bros from the Broadband Bullies, who I will not say his name, because we will have words on multiplayer podcast tomorrow, but this brother had the nerve to say he believes it is unfair when Digital Foundry compares the Xbox One X to PCs with the GeForce 1080 Ti installed, saying that's some form of bias trying to downplay the X. Yet, my bro makes videos from blasphemous articles claiming the X is as strong as a 1080 Ti, or the X is comparable to a $1,500 PC. Well, bro, you get what you asked for. You believe this crazy stuff that Microsoft and these idiot devs say to the media, but you have a problem when Digital Foundry exposes these claims to be lies. And you know what? That's what Digital Foundry does. That's what these extreme fanboys hate. That Digital Foundry exposes people mostly devs but microsoft and sony been exposed to that uncompromised 4k looks very compromised from where i'm sitting that 8.4 teraflops that mark cerny was talking about seemed to be a no-show for the pro big fella shit i'm surprised people are pretending to be mad at digital foundry for botching their analysis of a f-zero knockoff that nobody was going to buy then they're mad at microsoft for all these 4k I'm sorry, sub 4K games on an uncompromised 4K machine. For the record, you know the X is the most powerful console because Digital Foundry showed you how powerful it is. For the record, you know the X gives you more than the PS4 Pro because Digital Foundry shows you that the X gives you more than the PS4 Pro. For the record, you know that Microsoft beat you in the head for an extra hundred bucks when you chose that OG Xbox One over that OG PS4 because Digital Foundry showed you 
that Microsoft beat you in the head for an extra hundred bucks. So quick are you to bite the hand that feeds you. Ladies and gentlemen, Digital Foundry made a mistake. As we all do. They're human too. Do I think they should have double checked with 34 big things before they slandered their name and their game? Yes. Do I feel like Digital Foundry needs to take steps to make sure this never happens again? Yes. Do I feel like Digital Foundry put out that video with some kind of malicious intent to, I don't know, downplay the Xbox One X? No. They just made a mistake. A lot of these guys who are telling you that Digital Foundry are against the Xbox brand are strange. All right? Strange. What I see are hurt fanboys. How do you get it in your mind to say that a little YouTube channel is picking on a billion dollar on their way to trillion dollar company? Ladies and gentlemen, there are many things in this world to be, but please do not be like some of these guys, all right? Digital Foundry needs to slow down and double check everything. Stop trying to be so fast. Hopefully they learn from this mistake. But if you have hate in your heart for Digital Foundry, there's a smaller channel called NX Gamer who literally does the same technical analysis of video games. But let me know what you guys think. Hit that comment box. Let's talk. King's Blood, out.